Welcome tankers! Today we have something truly special for you. This is my highest scoring game ever. A 29,000 win 8 game. It's not my best game ever. I've had several that were considerably better than this, but uh, I didn't have premium at the time, so they scored considerably less. This is the highest scoring game I have a replay of. So at the start of this battle, I'm just going to passive scout in a bush and try and catch all these guys as they move into the west. I don't want to shoot because, of course, the second I shoot, I'll get spotted. So, And I can't even penetrate some of those tanks from this distance, even in the side. And I'm pointed... I don't know which way I want to escape, so I've decided I want to escape to the right and I'm going to stop and get binoculars up again and take a shot and immediately move because I know I'm going to get spotted there uh, if I stay there any longer, so I might as well take a shot before I run away. Now, I would normally hide there and try and peek out and spot guys, but since someone else is already there, I'm going to try and back out safely, as safely as possible. I'm thinking I'm not spotted now and I'm pretty safe to turn around and turn my back to the enemy and bug out, because I, I can't really help very much up there with a guy with as good or better view range right beside me. So I'm going to try and pull back here, get behind a bush, and see if we can snipe invisibly. Now, not much is showing up, so we're just waiting patiently. I haven't decided what I really want to do yet. I don't know where too many of the enemy are. Now, I can't penetrate this tank from the front there, but I can do some damage from the side, especially if I load HE. And I like to load HE sometimes to shoot at tanks I know I'm not going to penetrate, just to do a little damage and to add one to my tank's damage uh, statistic, because uh, if you get six, of course, you get confederate. It doesn't really add anything to your score, but uh, if I can, I like to damage as many tanks as possible. Now, we got a couple low rolls here. It looked like one or both of those might have hit him in the turret, and they were both AG, and you would have thought one of them might have done 200 damage instead of 30. Now, the entire east of the map is lost. And actually, our team isn't looking very good now. And here, I keep bouncing gold off of this guy. I don't want to... I probably should aim for the tracks there. Uh, the lower plate, he was moving too fast to aim for the, the lower plate, even though you have a much better chance of penetrating. Now, I decide... Uh, I'm going to try and kill him. On this map, the center is actually surprisingly safe, because everyone's usually on the other side of the hills. Whereas normally on almost any other map, going out into the middle and getting spotted is typically a death sentence. Now here I'm just trying to stay on the opposite side of his turret, and I waited there a second to draw it to make sure it was uh, pointing in through the building before I decided to move. Now we're going to go try and kill this big TD. Ready to fire. And here, I can't go behind him, but I'm going to try and wedge myself in between him and keep his gun off me. And tanks with a lot of horsepower can push through it. But he was a good player, and you notice he didn't shoot when his gun was on my the side of my turret, because he would have auto-bounced. He waited. But then that gave me just enough time to pull back the other way, and I dodged his shot. And then again, we wedge ourselves in there so that he can't turn his gun on us. So that that's a good trick to know if uh, you're trying to circle a turretless TV, and they're up against a wall somewhere where you can't actually circle them. So now, in, instead of just rushing out and spotting the cap, I know we have the T-30 who's going to be way behind them, so I don't want to 
be getting shot from both sides, so I, I'm playing this rather cautious. And of course the light tank just happens to move <laughs> behind the building at exactly the worst time for us. So I'm going this way with bushes here, hoping to spot this guy, and there he is, and luckily he's not facing us. So I know I'm watching his gun, I know I have more than enough time to kill him before he can even get his gun turned to me. Or else if he ever if he did get his gun anywhere close to me, I would have had to make sure to pull back behind the building there. So that he had nothing to shoot at. Now luckily our guys take up the type 59 and an auto loader, I want to kill him fast. I don't want him to get his gun anywhere close to me because he'll be able to do 50% of my life with each shot. So even though he's probably heavier than me, and you normally never want to ram a tank that's heavier than you, I wanted him dead as quickly as possible, and that meant ramming him at full speed. Even though I know I knew I would lose a third or half of my life. Because getting shot by him is much worse. And he can reload <laughs> pretty darn fast. Now I'm going to try and get around behind this guy. You always want to split his fire. Have some guy shooting from one side while you're shooting from the other, then he has nothing to do. And now it's just cleaning up. I figure he's a good player, so he, good players usually are hiding way in the back behind ten layers of bushes, so I figure he's going to be way in the far south. Or he's AFK. And I just want I don't care if he kills me, I just want to spot him here, and then my guys will be able to kill him easily. And it looks like he's AFK. And we don't even get any more than three shots into him before my team destroys him. And now we're just hunting Artie, and the game is all but over. This game scored 29,262 on the win 8 scale, which, to give you an idea of how big of an outlier that game is, a Super Unicum only has to average 2,900 win 8 per battle to be considered one of the best players in the game. So this is like 10 of those battles all in one. And the Artie's turning, and he probably should have waited to aim a bit there. And he didn't, and he is dead. And this battle actually moves me into 100th place all time on the North American server. Only 99 players have ever had a battle better or that scored higher than this battle here. Only 99.